Hi. So, you're seeing lots of people in the news talking about Islam and Iran, and so you should probably know who actually knows what they're talking about. So here's how to spot a fake expert on Islam or Iran in about 90 seconds. First, ask yourself about their experience. For instance, what would it mean to be an expert on the United States? It would mean that you at least lived there and spoke English and probably Spanish too, that you studied America for many decades and have a firm grasp of American history, politics, art, culture, and religion. Well, the same is true for Iran. Does this person have decades of first-hand experience with Iran? Have they actually lived there for a while? Second, do they know Persian or Farsi? Sure, you can't ask them yourself, but there are some giveaways. Persian, and for that matter, Arabic, have some sounds that English doesn't. So if they're saying Iran and not Iran, or Iraq and not Iraq, that's a red flag. And if you're reading something, notice that they only cite things written or said in English. If they're not reading Farsi or talking to people in Farsi, they probably should be ignored. Third, notice huge generalizations. Experts are, by definition, hyper-specialists. No one's just an expert on Iran, but one small facet of Iranian culture. Same thing for people who are propped up as experts on the Middle East or Islam. Those are huge, diverse categories counting for millions of people, and so no one, no one, is an expert on all of them. Fourth, do they speak in firm opposites? Sunni versus Shiite, Western versus Muslim, modern versus traditional, extremist versus moderate. Sure, we all talk like that all the time, but an expert would never be so simplistic. And fifth, how do they treat history? Knowing the history of a place is the key to being an expert, but a real expert will stick to certain corners of history without jumping all over the place. So if someone's claiming to be an expert on Iran, and they keep bringing up the Middle Ages or the 7th century or ancient Persia, definitely stop listening to them. That's it. Don't listen to or trust people who don't have decades of direct experience, show no signs of speaking the relevant languages, speak in huge generalizations about millions of people, speak in firm black or white sets of opposites, or conflate different moments in history as if they aren't centuries apart. And remember, the right answer is always, I don't know. You don't have to be an expert on Iran or Islam to follow what's happening right now. When in doubt, volunteer your ignorance. After all, Knowing when you don't know is the enemy of extremism.